What's up everybody? Marvin Four here with another Great American Survival and in today's video we are out here testing out the new Realtree Pro Baitcaster Combo. This thing is really nice. I've really enjoyed it and I've taken it out a couple times already but I just wanted to share with you guys how well this thing works. Um, it comes in on a $75 price point and I believe it's made by the company called Proficiency. I'm not sure. Uh, I believe so just by things that I see stamped on the rod and things like that. But this is awesome. If you're looking for a new bait caster, this just might be the one for you. So stick with us. We'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so first off, we're going to talk about the rod and the reel. Now, we'll talk about the rod first. The rod is a seven-foot, medium-heavy, fast-action combo, one-piece IM7 graphite rod. Very nice. Has a very nice tip. I like the rod. Has these very nice cork accents, exposed rod blank down here, so you feel those bites. That's kind of a standard. Uh, you got a cork rod butt. Got your adjuster up here for your reel seat. Very nice. I'm assuming these things are made by proficiency because they're the only ones I've seen do that to their rods. Now maybe they just make the rods, I'm not really sure. Guides, very nicely done. Very well sealed. Looks like the rod and reel should hold up really well. I did notice I had an exposed spot right here where you can see it is a graphite blank. That's the only negative. I got mine from Walmart. They do not take care of stuff. They beat it up. Got ourselves a Texas rig hook keeper. One thing for me is when I'm fishing from a kayak, I need my rod, my hook keeper up here, not down here because I'm putting everything in rod holders. So very nice. Now let's talk about the reel. The reel is a seven plus one bearing system, seven three to one gear ratio. Very nice, like knurled metal, spool tensioner, brake system, Realtree graphics, you know, Realtree is known for their camo. Very nice, very smooth. I've already used this once, it's already been spooled up one time, but I'm loading it up this time with 12 pound fluoro and I'm gonna start throwing some cranks on it, maybe work some Texas rigs and see how well this thing does. Nice crank arm, nice cork rod knob, uh, reel knobs. These things are really nice. It is a very smooth set. Drag star, I think it said it had a 16 or uh, 17 pound drag. Very nice, I'll put all of that in the description below in the details. And I mean, I really like this. This combo for $75 available at Walmarts. This thing's really nicely done. I hope it holds up. We'll see how it does. We're gonna load some line on it. We're gonna take it out and throw it around and we'll see how it does. All right, so I will say that first off, when I, since I've gotten this, one of these little guys came off. I'm gonna have to glue it. I'm worried I'm gonna lose the thing. All right, so today we're out here. We're gonna be throwing around this real tree pro combo. Um, like I said, I'm assuming these things are made by proficiency, but the way I always dial mine in, set my brakes at about half and adjust my spool tension until the lure stops falling. Then I'm just gonna back it down a little till it falls. I want it to where it falls, but doesn't backlash. Big old ants out here today. That's a good start. Casting over here. And then I'm gonna throw a Texas rig on here and see how it does. Because I have a feeling these fish over here, I've never caught anything over on this side. So So 
switched out. Put a chatterbait on there, just like before. Adjust my spool tension a little bit. Keep it from going anywhere. Nice. That's what we want. That's very smooth. I'm gonna let it sink to the bottom. Sitting here feeding ants to this lake. throw that perfect cast usually I fouled it now I will say I found out that look at so that already happened I'm gonna have to super glue that thing back on I do like the tone of that choppo though. Got a good good noise. Very fishy little area. Got a uh, Texas rig. Ooh. See how this does. I think swims really good. that I can feel it bumping off stuff. I can hit, feel it. And I've only got it. I might have a 3 8 ounce on there. A little tungsten weight. Bump, bump, up and over. Nice. different type of creature bait. Think it's a big bite bait? Hopefully you could see that on that line. You see the line snap back, but he didn't. All he did is rip it up. dropped over that log. Very nice. I like the sensitivity. The sensitivity on this rod is really nice. Uh, it's casting really nicely. Ooh, ooh, hopefully you saw that. Had one chase it back. That was good. 
We know they're there. I've caught some big fish out of this little area. Nothing better than watching that line swim away. You can feel it. Ooh. You can feel it going over every little stick. Very nice. Okay, so after about a week worth of use, I have to say I really like the combo. It casts really well. The only negative I had is I got a bad batch of line. I spooled this up with 12 pound Yazuri hybrid, and after a week, I mean, it's just, it's really messed up. It's got a lot of memory, a lot of line twist. It's just not working out well, so I'm going to pull it off. I bought another box of fluoro for this. We're going to put it on here, but I like the combo. I love the color scheme think it's definitely for the price point it's good i would put it in the lose xfinity black max category i think it works for a 75 dollars price point nice i think if you're looking to get into bait casting this could definitely be a good one for you if you can find them they're not easy to find but i found mine at walmart so thanks for stopping by hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about the rod the reel or just picking out your first bait caster shoot them down below in the comments We'll try to help you out. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.